What's going on guys? I am here today to preview tonight's week 3 matchup on Thursday Night Football between the New York Giants and the Carolina Panthers in Carolina. Both of these teams did get a victory in week 2. The Giants knocked off the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in a scare they had at the Meadowlands by a score of 41-34. And the Carolina Panthers took care of business against Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. But first, I want to talk about the New York Giants. You know, obviously, Eli Manning, he definitely stepped up last week. A huge passing day, especially to Victor Cruz and Hakeem Nix, but he will not have Hakeem Nix to throw to tonight. He's going to have Victor Cruz and then a whole lot of uncertainty. It'll be Victor Cruz, Martellus Bennett, Ahmad Bradshaw's not even playing, so he's not there to catch passes out of the backfield. Instead, it'll be rookie running back Andre Brown, who had a very good week one performance. And he looks to have leapfrogged David Wilson on the depth chart, and David Wilson hasn't been very impressive so far in the small playing time that he's had, including a fumble on his first carry. But I want to see what Tom Coughlin does tonight with that running game and how much he incorporates multiple backs into this game because he has two inexperienced running backs against a very, very good Carolina linebacker core and a pretty good front four as well. So I don't like their matchup on the ground against Carolina. And their offensive passing game doesn't look to be as strong this week because there is no Hakeem Nix. I mean, a lot of offenses succeed because they have multiple weapons in the passing game and I'm not very uh, high on anybody else in that passing game other than Victor Cruz and Akeem Nix. I mean you got Ramses Barton who will likely start on the outside tonight. Where the hell has Ruben Randall even been? Then Martellus Bennett and they have uh, just not a whole lot else besides Akeem Nix and Victor Cruz. And last week against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who haven't had a very good secondary this year, Manning threw for 510 yards but only 132 of those yards were to a player other than Cruz or Nix. So definitely someone needs to step up tonight because that's a huge void Hakeem Nix is leaving behind. He had 200 yards almost last week and 10 catches, so Victor Cruz can't do it by himself, and if nobody else can step up, that's going to allow Chris Gamble to man up against Victor Cruz. They'll play a safety over the top more than likely and take Cruz out of the passing game as much as they can, and then Eli Manning's going to have to really figure it out on offense because he's a good quarterback. He threw for 500 yards last week. But those two injuries are going to be very hard to overcome, and I believe also David Deal is going to be out of this game. So that's three offensive starters and two big playmakers. And they haven't been all that great on defense so far, and uh, Tampa Bay definitely exposed their secondary a bit, and that's why I like Carolina right now in this matchup. Their offense was very good in Week 2. They actually got their ground game going. I believe they ran the ball twice as much as they threw. I believe it was 41-20, to 20, if I remember correctly. And I, I like Cam Newton a lot in this game. He's going to be the X factor for me for the Carolina Panthers because he has to run the ball effectively. He needs to make the right throws. I don't think this Giants offense can keep up with Carolina's offense if they are clicking on all cylinders like they were last week. I mean, Steve Smith's going to be a big part of this passing game. I expect him to play well against this depleted secondary. And one thing I wanted to see for the Carolina offense this year was for a receiver other than Steve Smith to play well. And Brandon LaFell definitely showed up last week. He had six catches for 90 yards and also ran the ball once for 25. And I want to see if he helps this offense remain balanced tonight. And I want to see how the running game does as well. It's a very good front four from the Giants, but I'm not, I've never been big on their linebackers. And I think that D'Angelo Williams and Cam Newton can have a good day running the ball. And so one of the players I'll be watching for the Giants defense today is going to be Keith Rivers because I think he's their fastest linebacker and he's going to be needed to help contain Cam Newton and D'Angelo Williams. I don't think Jonathan Stewart is playing tonight, but I don't think it's a huge loss. They have D'Angelo Williams still, and Cam Newton's very good on the ground. And so I think for the Giants, one important thing you have to do against the Carolina Panthers is limit the big play. Don't allow Steve Smith to beat you deep. Don't let Cam Newton bounce outside and run for a 40-yard touchdown or anything big on offense. You can't let Carolina get plays in big chunks because Giants don't have their playmaker this week in Hakeem Nix or Ahmad Bradshaw. And I don't see the Giants keeping up pace with the Carolina offense if Carolina can do what they have the potential to do against this Giants defense. And the key for the Giants this week on offense is definitely going to be making up for those injuries and having someone step up. And so my X factor is just going to be a question mark. If this team wins tonight, I think it's because somebody on offense steps up and surprises this Carolina defense in a big way, whether that be David Wilson, Andre Brown, Martellus Bennett, Ramses Barton, I have no idea, but I think somebody really needs to step up for the Giants to get the victory tonight, and that is why my prediction is going with the Carolina Panthers at home by a score of 30-24. to 24. 
I know Eli Manning is a great fourth quarter passer, but somebody still has to receive the ball, and if they double cover Victor Cruz a lot of this game, someone's going to need to step up, and I don't know who that's going to be yet, so I'm a lot more comfortable taking the Carolina Panthers. They're balanced offense against this secondary and this defense from the Giants. I like Carolina tonight, and hopefully this is my first matchup that I get actually right on Thursday night football. I had the first Wednesday game wrong and last week's Thursday game wrong, so hopefully I get my first victory and go to 1-0 this week on my predictions after a very poor week uh, two last week, where I had like four right. So anyways, guys, I'll have my full picks and predictions out later this week. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. And hopefully the Carolina Panthers prove me right.